Hey everybody, I'm Mark Walters here at South by Southwest and we're getting ready to close out the festival on the red carpet for the Runaways. Pretty soon we're going to be talking, God willing, to Kristen Stewart, Dakota Fanning, Sherry Curry, Floria Sigismundi, and possibly a surprise guest. So stay with us right here at South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. Hey, I'm standing here with Travis McCoy from Gym Class Heroes. Uh, can I call you Travi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. can I call you Schlepperock? You can call me what you want to call me, <laughs> Now, Travis, I understand you are a big fan of The Runaways. You're a big fan of Joan Jett, Sherry sure. Curry. You're really looking forward to this one, I can't wait. I, like, actually, I had a prior engagement that I kind of snuck away from to get here, so nice. hopefully I won't get, to, get into too much trouble. Yeah. But um, I had to come see it. I had to come see it. How do you feel about the idea of musicians being portrayed on film? I mean, do you think that this, this is a good thing? Do you think this is maybe a thing where... I think it's a great thing, as long as it's done in good taste and long, as long as it's done the right way, you know what I mean? And... Um, Prime example, I thought Notorious was amazing, you know, yeah, yeah. like, I thought they did a really good job with that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're, they're going to do with this, you know what I mean? So, as long as it's done, I think the last really good film I saw about me was The Doors. The Doors, yeah. that was a great film. Yeah. I think they really, really captured. Kilmer the, just oh, knocked it out of it, part. Destroyed yeah. it, so. Yeah. Now, you got a solo project coming up in June, you want to tell everybody yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, it's called Lazarus, the album's called Lazarus. The first single uh, dropped last Tuesday, it's called Billionaire, featuring uh, Bruno Mars and it's awesome. So go to iTunes and download it. Very nice. Travis Thank McCoy, Schlepp Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, man, thanks. Nice to meet you. Pleasure hey, everybody. I'm standing here with the legendary Kim Valley and also Joel, the very lovely Joel. Uh, and Kim, you, have you had a chance to see this movie yet? It's tremendous. It's the rebel about a cause of a 21st century. It's uh, all types of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, so your whole family can be delighted and inspired to go crazy. You are played brilliantly by Michael Shannon. How did you feel about his performance, all the little nuances? I went to Denny's and we had a five hour meeting and I showed him how to eat with the fingers. Not your fingers, not mine. Okay. Now if we had met back in the 70s, do you, do you think I would have had that rock star quality? You would have been meatloaf. I would have been meatloaf! I, I will go with that, sir. Thank you very, very much. I know they're getting, getting you out of here. Thank you so much for talking with me. I'm standing here with the very lovely, and I hope I get this right, Floria Sigismondi. Very good. Is that, is that wow. correct? Okay. It's very unusual. People tutor. get it. <laughs> yes, we, we do. We have a tutor over here, I have to admit. Yeah. Now, uh, you directed The Runaways. This is, I, I really enjoyed watching this film because it, it almost felt like I was watching a documentary in a way, and I kind of got lost in the, in the reality of it all. Was oh, that something right. that you were kind of conscious to make sure it had sort of almost like a documentary flair? Well, I, I wanted it to be as authentic as possible and raw as possible. Kind of, kind of feel the atmosphere and feel, you know, uh, up until like keeping them, you know, making pimples on their faces. So you really kind of felt that they were living on a diet of potato chips and, and um, hamburgers. And so all that stuff was really important for me. And um, and kind of setting the right atmosphere to musically also, I think maybe um, helps with that. And the camera movement, just all designed sort of when it gets when it gets a little bit heavy to kind of go more handheld so you kind of feel a little bit like you're kind of a fly on the wall, you know. I would imagine a film like this can be very, very stressful to put together. Were there any moments where you just had to kind of take a break and unwind for a little bit? I didn't have any moments, but in the writing process, I kind of would go up and down for sure because there's so many elements to it. But uh, once it started, that was it. I don't I don't think I slept more than four hours a night. I'm Mark. Very nice to meet you. We're going to go right here. I'm standing here with the very lovely, even lovelier in person, I dare say, Sherry Curry. And The Runaways is based on your own account of what your life was like. Seeing Dakota Fanning play you, I, I, I felt like I was watching someone that I was familiar with on screen, but just completely wowing me in a way I never expected before. What was it like seeing that performance? Well, I was just saying, go for it, girl. I mean, this, this she is incredible. Yeah. Dakota's done so many amazing things, and now she's taken it to a level that I think is gonna blow people's minds. You know, she, I, I, just, I just can't believe what she's gonna do next, you know, because she just kicked it on this film. Is it safe to say that you were pretty blown away by the film itself? Yes, absolutely. You know, Kristen Stewart did an amazing job as Joan, and and Michael Shannon just is it, so incredible. entertaining. Did you see? Yeah, yeah I've, see, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely incredible. And and their performance of Cherry Bomb seems so very accurate. Was that kind of interesting, seeing them just sort of mirror what you had done so many years ago? Well, I wept when I saw it. I Sorry. literally cried because it was like for the first time I could actually see what it was like to be an audience member watching the Runaways. They were that right on. Yeah. This is a real thrill for me. Thank you so much for talking with us. Pleasure to meet you. So much. Thank you. I'm standing here with the very lovely Dakota Fanning, and I, I gotta say, I was just telling Sherry this, 
you completely blew me away in this film. I, I, I've been watching you for years, and you've turned in a performance that I think is it, it, it's just revolutionary. I mean, it, what kind of places did you have to go to, I think, to, to really kind of capture the essence of Sherry? Yeah, I mean, you have to go pretty deep, and she's such a complex person, and um, I'm so lucky that I was the one that was able to play her and um, bring her story to life again. I don't think a lot of people are familiar with it, and I wanted um, I wanted people to be. <laughs> right. Did you have to, I mean, was there any moments that seemed kind of particularly dark, maybe like you were a little trepidatious to do? Um, I wasn't, I don't think that I was trepidatious to do, but um, I mean, her story is, is a powerful one, and it's it's hard, and, and it's tough, and um, that's what I love about being an actor, is you get to do that kind of in a safe environment. How about a singing career? You did such a great job singing Cherry Bomb in this. Have you thought about maybe doing a little singing on the side? Oh, I I can do it at playing somebody else, but as myself, it's too scary. So karaoke, we're safe for karaoke. Maybe. I'm a little too scared for that even. Tell us what's up next for you. Um, well, I'm in Eclipse, which is coming out in the summer, and uh, I might, I'll probably be working this summer as well. You did a phenomenal job. It's a pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. We're staying here with Kristen Stewart, star of The Runaways, who played Joan Jett. And you look absolutely stunning tonight, by the way. Uh, you did an amazing performance in this movie. Absolutely amazing. Uh, playing Joan Jett, should I say channeling Joan Jett, um, what was probably the one most interesting thing that you learned uh, in, in talking with Joan about the role? Um, uh, well, I mean, initially you think that she's like the, just the most badass, really hard, confident, unassuming, but like, like, um, unaware of the fact that she's so confident and and then you realize that she's actually pretty shy and all the leather and the studs and stuff it's kind of like I mean it gets thicker every year because it's armor I mean so it was cool because I I became really good friends with her and I realized that like I don't know there, there are many more levels to her than people may be aware of and yeah and you and Dakota both really rock out for real in this film and you and you'd both obviously work together on the Twilight films do have you developed kind of a bit of a sisterly bond now yeah, she's like my big sister. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she's a... Uh, okay, I know they got to try to get away. Thank you so much for talking with us. Pleasure to meet you.